welcome to the book of Exodus. We're in chapter 31 today, verses 7 through 11. The tent of meeting and the ark of testimony and the mercy seat upon it and all the furniture of the tent, the table also and its utensils and the pure gold lampstand with all of its utensils and the altar of incense, the altar of burnt offering also with all its utensils and the laver and its stand, the woven garments as well and the holy garments of Aaron the priest and the garments of his sons with which to carry on their priesthood, the anointing oil also and the fragrant incense for the holy place. They are to make them according to all that I have commanded you. So again, we're picking up where just exactly where we left off yester morn. Is that a word? Yester morn, yesterday morning. And here's the list of all this, the tent of meeting, you know, the ephod and, and the anointing oil and so on, so on that we've been through with these last five chapters. So now that all is record, recounted again, and it's sort of somewhat a different order than it was given, which is kind of interesting, but we won't try to draw any inferences from that. But it's summarized, 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 and then comes the, 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 the point, the key point at that 11th verse. They are to make them according to all that I have commanded you. Okay, so everything's going to be made just exactly the way that God commanded it to be made. The, the instructions are exact. Uh, we've also seen that in some cases, dimensions aren't given, and yet they have not only, again, the verbal uh, description of how it's to be built, but remember, Moses is shown, you know, the, the graph. He's shown the graphics for it. He's shown the blueprints. And so Moses would have perhaps verbally described, or maybe he drew pictures, and he laid it out to the workmen, this is exactly what God has called for, and they're going to successfully execute that. They're going to create it just the way that God wants it made. But not every detail is laid down, even here in the detail that we have seen. And so interesting how, you know, sometimes we have this expectation that every last nut and bold and jot and tittle, it was all laid out, but no, it wasn't. And we've seen that as we've sort of been looking right here, right at Exodus. But we do know that in the end, Perhaps it was because of the pictures uh, or Moses' description. It's going to come out exactly the way that God wanted it to be. God is particular. This would help us to understand that when he calls for this to happen in worship, we are to do this. When he does not call for this to happen in worship, we are not to do that. Okay, so God is very particular. We've got to be careful. Some things are looser and some things we can adapt somewhat, but many things are very exact and we certainly should be careful to worship God in the way that he calls for. If he calls for a Sabbath and not Sunday, that's an explicit detail, just as many of these things we've read are explicitly detailed and are made exactly according to that explicit detail. Some of the other things, you know, they were shown the pictures and what was done was, was satisfactory. But the explicit details of God's worship, important. And so that's going to be important uh, in all the sanctuary and important too in terms of God's law and even the Sabbath commandment out of all the Ten Commandments. So anyway, we'll see more about the Sabbath actually not too far on, not too far on. In fact, in the next verse, tomorrow morning, in this chapter, the Sabbath's going to pop up again. What's that about? See you tomorrow morning. We'll look at it then. Thank you.